What's going on, YouTube? It's Chief Takes Films, your tour guide on the road to elevating your image. And on this channel, I like to highlight my wins and losses so you can capitalize off of my wins and suffer none of my losses. If there's something you're interested in, make sure you click that notification bell and subscribe to the channel. But today is a whole bunch of work. All we're doing today is a whole bunch of moving. <laughs> stuff out of my office because we renovating a whole building um, we're gonna have a lobby area actually two lobby areas a studio room and you know we got an esthetician coming in we got two tattoo artists so it's a lot of work to be done man so I just went ahead and moved all my stuff to the house but as you can see it's all over my living room and the wifey is not having that not at all so I had to get all that stuff out of there just to just the essentials, get the get the uh, the backdrops and all of the big stuff, and take it back to the office today. Um, we're still in here renovating and painting and all that, so I'm gonna have to move it around what they're doing. So, but at least it's out of the house. She got some kind of uh, family event or gathering she's doing tomorrow, so she didn't want it in the house for tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing all day today. Well, not all day today pretty much almost done but that's what we're doing I'm gonna take I'm gonna walk you out through the building right now so y'all can see the renovations and, and and the chaos that we got going on right now Now that that's done, I gotta head back to the house. I got a whole bunch of editing to do today. Um, a lot of catching up to do. So much stuff going on, but one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, evaluating your, your goals. You know, me and my wife had a conversation yesterday. And, you know, for the longest, I thought that she wanted a bakery. And I was trying to force it. Like, yo, you, you good at these cakes? I'm tired of you baking in my house. Let's get you a uh, let's get you a bakery. But she told me yesterday she don't want a bakery and broke down to me why she doesn't. And it made a lot of sense to me and it made me reevaluate my goals. So the reason why she don't want a bakery is because she knows if she opens up a bakery, she's gonna have to be in there 24-7 like all day every day baking cakes and that kind of stuff so that's not how she wants to live her life she wants to make cakes chill spend time with the family and all that kind of stuff man you don't want to be working 24 7 i guess that's the kind of goals that you have when you're 20 i mean get a get a bakery and and ball out you know work hard so you can ball out when you're older we already older you know we approaching 40 so we passed all of that working hard stuff, man. We just want to work enough to uh, to pay the bills. And we've been doing that for 12 years now. Been working for myself and, and, and owning our own businesses. So, and it's been working for us. So why change it? Why set high goals for yourself just because everybody else thinks you should do it? You know? You know yourself better than anybody. If you don't, if you don't want to work hard and, and work 24 7 you don't need to build companies man you know the the things that we do now as videographers and creators is we content creators so you can get with a business and and just create content for them and that's what i'm gonna do i got a, i got businesses on retainers um, i got two businesses on retainers right now um, that's that's a set amount of money per month so 
that's all I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna pick up like three or four more, put them on retainers and just work those companies. And if those companies fall off or don't renew their uh, contracts, then pick up some more companies and, and keep it moving like that versus trying to pick up a client every day and, and shoot random videos for them. I wanna help a company build their identity, build their brand, so. That's what my new goals are, man. I reevaluate my goals for 2019. I'm not gonna try to build a big old production company with green screen studios and studio lights and all this crazy stuff that I initially wanted to do before because it's just not feasible. If I did that, I'd be working 24 seven and never had no time for the family. So family is big with us. We got six kids, family is humongous to us. So. That's what I want to do, man. I just want to vacation with my wife and kids and work here and there, you know. So that's that's the goals. That's my goals for 2019. And the rest of my life, honestly, you know, this ain't it ain't like I'm playing in the NBA, so I can I can be a, a videographer for till I'm 80, you know what I mean? God God bless me to be that old. I can be a videographer till I'm 80. So that's the that's the new goals, man. Evaluate your goals and, and really think about what you really want to do. If it's not, if it's not build a big company, you know, don't shoot for that. You don't have to do that. You can be a solo one man band and and make this work. I was doing my taxes the other day and the lady was like, "It's no way that you that you uh, you do all of this on your own. You have to have people that that work for you." And I'm just like, "No, <laughs> it's just me. It's just been me. It's just me. It's been me for years, you know." So. You know, as long as I'm um, uh, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, man, and stand along this path, I'm good. You know, it's just when you when you hit those lows, that's when you think, oh, I need to do more. But you always gonna hit the lows when you at your high points. Save up for the lows, cause they gonna come. And and once you get to that point, then you can, you you realize that you don't have to work so hard. But anyway, man, back to the house to do a little bit of editing today.